everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to have a look at the, a drone for protecting things and shooting up mobs. Uh, but you'll also, let's have a look at this. You'll also notice that my air pressure is not actually at 10. Let's go and fix that first of all. So the problem seems to be that the um, aerial interface has got this dispenser upgrade. So as soon as I remove this dispenser upgrade, press escape, you'll see that the armor starts to get charged up straight away. So without the, with the dispenser upgrade, it's not charging, as you can see, and without it, it is charging. Like that. I'll just, I think what I'll do with the dispenser upgrade, I'll just put it over um, somewhere over here for a time being. Let's put it in this chest here. If we need it again, we can use it and... I don't think I'm going to use it again, to be honest with you. Um, maybe food would be good, something to feed me up with, but I'm not sure. I do, don't do need food that often, because you can't really repair yourself with food in this pack. Anyway, so now, let's have a look at this. I've, sp I've moved the stations over here, and actually I put a charging station. The charging station is connected to nothing. But in here I have a drone. It's, it's got nothing in it at the moment, so no, nothing at all there. So let's create the program for doing some drone work. So you need, of course, you need the start base. Let's put the start piece there. And then you'll need this, an attack piece. But we, before we put the attack piece in, let's just scroll this down a bit, make, make it a little bit smaller. Let's put in a, an invent, um, import from inventory piece like this. Let's move it up a little bit and just drag this across like that. What we need to import is actually ammo. So then we need, then it can attack when it's finished attacking, it can then go and have a, a sleep. I think I don't think it needs to do anything other than that. We'll go to a, no, we'll go to a place, and then we'll have a, then we'll go to standby. So we always know where it is. That's the reason for doing that. So we can go to a place, and then we can go to standby, like this. Now you'll notice that this one here has got hasn't just got an area because this has got a pointy ones. Now the pointy ones are for text, so let's bring the text one over here like this, and it connects into that. Now it needs a text in here, so we press I for information, and then we can do um, Entity Attack Widget. So if we press, I think what happens, it's supposed to open up the book at that page, so let's just open up the book itself at that page, Entity Attack Widget. So this is the one where you can put in the different types of fields for attacking mobs and things like that. So the one we want to do is, um, what does it say? So you can use an inventory to import widget to provide the drone with a weapon, which is strongly recommended. It's unarmed melee attack is weak. So that would probably mean we need a, so we got a range tracker, okay, right. So range attacks, by inserting an entity tracker upgrade into a drone, it will have a minigun attached to it. When the minigun is provided with gun ammo using inventory import widget, the drone will use this minigun to perform ranged attacks. The default range is 16 blocks, which can be upgraded by inserting up to 16 range attacks, giving a maximum of 32. So that's what we're going to do today. What else does it say? I'll be back. <laughs> Very good. So, what we need to do in here is we need to give it a value. So you right click it and give it a value. So we'll say at mob. Is the one we need for the text here. It is documented. I don't think it was documented there. So then we need to specify where we want to import stuff from, and where we're going to uh, sit. So let's go. We've got some GPS tools down here like this. So here, for example, I've got a chest. Yeah, and in this chest we've got the minigun ammo. This one here is just for upgrades. I think what we'll do is we'll put the um, minigun ammo into here. Like this into this chest like that because it sort of se seems to be sort of better in that place so we'll place it in like that i've got some used ones because what i've done is i've removed the sentry turret which is say which is where the same filter as you see at mob you know like that so what we'll do is we'll say this is the inventory we're going to um go to and we're also going to wait here so let's left click this one and then right click it like that so the both points are set at that position so now we're going to long, go along here and so say we're going to go to this position to pick up the, I mean, the ammo, which is here. 
So we need to go to this position, and I think I'll go to this position to rest, if I can. I'm not sure, normally I do it one block above, but maybe that'll work as well. So then we need to specify the area of attack. Uh, and we also need to specify a filter on here. So let's put the filter in here like this. So what we're going to pick up is gun ammo. So we'll search for that, and it's actually called gun ammo. In fact, you can see here. And it's actually pneumatic, pneumatic gun ammo. So we'll just have a look for ammo in here and then we can select this one the mini gun ammo which is fine the other ones are the poison ones are basically just adding a poison to to this ammo so we won't use metadata because that will basically if it's half used it it'll pick it up and we shall use or dictionary so any type of gun ammo will be picked up oh that's the other one so let's see if that works anyway so the only thing we've got now to specify this area and I've put down some blocks here, so something specifying area. Jump over that, no problem. So let's specify this area as being point 0.1, so I'll right click that one. While I'm doing that, I shall break it as well. And we'll go over here somewhere else to the other corner, which I've set up. Actually, it's rather a large area, this. <laughs> Maybe it won't work. And we shall left click this one now. And you see it's highlighted this area. So I should break this as well. And we'll put that into the drone program. So let's put that area into the drone program, which is here. And that should be a valid program now. So let's have a look, see if that actually works. Let's program the drone and put it down. Where's he gone to? Oh, he's sitting on top of there. And he's got his ammunition in there, so that's great. He's actually got the ammo, which is actually not great, because you don't want him to do it that way. We have to put the entity tracker into him. So let's break him first of all. Uh, pick up that ammo again. Open up the chest and put it back again. I actually did pick the this one. So what I'll do is I'll reset that filter a bit. Let's change this one. Uh, and use... That's right, yes, that'll do fine. So we don't specify any any metadata on that one. So now we have to go and put this into here. Now you can actually put the drone into here. Oh, we didn't, haven't saved the program yet. Let's just save the program. I'll bring it over here like that. Let's put it into here. So obviously it's got no pressure in here. It actually doesn't take the pressure out of this when it's being used, but it does give us access to the upgrades. So some of the upgrades are quite useful. Let's go and get those upgrades out of my chest here because um, I haven't got them in. So now, upgrades in this one, right? Let's do it this way. So the security upgrade. This is one I didn't know, and I should have known about this one. It's a great one, actually. With the security upgrade, the drone can breathe in liquids. With two upgrades, the liquids around the drone will be temporarily displaced away. So I'm going to put two of those into this. With three or more upgrades, liquids will be permanently removed, which is... So they're not um, willing to enter lava regardless of security uh, upgrades. But I had one drown on me, which is, wasn't very good. So we do need the entity tracker, this one, because we need the uh, minigun. And we also need a dispense, a range upgrade. We'll put all 16 in. We read that before. It goes up to 16 upgrades. We can actually put some speed upgrades in here as well, so that it'll go a bit faster. I don't think we need that. We'll put in two for the sake of just seeing what happens and uh, with dispenser upgrade gives it an extra slot and then the item life will probably do as well that magnet we probably don't need to do so that will do for this drone let's put the drone down now it's actually come to night time and you see he's got a nice little minigun now <laughs> he's sitting on top of that chest <laughs> fantastic oh he's taken two ammos with him great so that's what it did for the other one. So there should be a mob around here now because it is night time. While that's happening, let's just jump up here and give these guys some food. I make sure my magnet should be turned off actually. So let's just give them some food. And they should take that food and then they start breeding again. As you see them taking the food. Now, where are the mobs gone to today? They can't be scared of a little robot drone. There's usually millions of them around being unwanted all of the time. We can probably go and attract a few. Let's go and attract a few while these, these guys are at it.
Oops, skeleton. All right. What have we got around here? Which I can't really see very well, but I can press P and put my helmet on. We can see pretty well now. All right. He's just shot something and I missed what he was shooting at, but uh, he shot something else there. But we don't, they don't drop it. Oh, yes, they do actually. He's got some, they drop XP, but I haven't seen the, the, the with the Santa turret, he didn't drop any anything at all. Of course, I could actually go and ask him to pick up the droppings, but to be honest with you, I don't care. Let's turn off this again. We don't need, we can, we can, we can stay in the dark, jump up on the fence. See what the drone does. Oh look, here comes a here comes a zombie for this treatment. Now he should actually go back to the place, and I'm not sure he hasn't come back to the place. Let's check. So what we can do now is we can press uh, drone debugging. So let's enable drone debugging. So that's the U button here, let's enable drone debugging. Uh, follow active widget. I think that's all we have to do. Uh, we're supposed to be able to press D on this one. Now I need drone active widget. I should have that in my dispenser. Let's have a look, I'll probably have to enable that one as well. So I need the entity tracker, oh, it's a drone, that's okay. Enable the entity tracker, that's it. So here we go, he's acquiring his target. So he should start, we should be able to see the colors on top of him. When he's doing his programming, let's press D. It didn't work. Let's press Control D. I'm also going to. Oh no, I didn't do anything that time. Is that right? Oh, the numbers on Control D. That's the reason why. Okay, so there we go. Now he's actually got in debug mode. You can see he's got to press U for debugger. Debugging this drone. Press U for debugger. Follow active widget, there we go. Oh, I see, now you can see it's actually doing its thing, and how about that? If I press escape in this, what happens? I oh, know. So I have to see it with this window on top of it. So you can see what it's doing now. Very smart, isn't it? But it's not going back to this area. Why not? This, okay, right click to show the area. It should be going over here. I'll tell you what I'll do. Yes, you can see it here. Look about that. So it should go back there. Maybe it doesn't like to go back there. Maybe we should give it another location. Um, let's do that while, while we're thinking about it. I'm a bit cold. Why am I cold? Because I have put all my stuff away. <laughs> let's just sort that out. Um, it should be in here. I need the... Do I put them away? Where have I put those two? I've got a spare one in there anyway. So that'll keep me warm again. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, another mechanic. Right, he goes there for the time being. So, what I was going to do is to put on top of this a block. And then go here and specify the position where I want to go to. Actually, I don't want that one. So, which is the position one? That's the area. This will do just fine. So I can left click this one and then right click it to give me that position and we can break it and then we can go and reprogram the drone. So I have to go and get the drone. And here he is. So let's just break him with this one and pick him up. I come back here. Oops, I don't want to do that. I keep doing that all the time. Let's right click him on here. So this time we want this go to position, we want to change that area. So let's put that one onto this one here. Yep. And then we can put the drone in here. Program it again. And put him down. And hopefully the other time it'll go across to that place. So there we are. So we press debug and he's gone to the right place this time. Oh yes, you can see the colours working this time. So if I now press debug on this one, uh, you on this one. Follow active widget. 
have I done wrong in this one? Do I have to press Control D to get this one to work? Oh yes, it does say that D. Now I didn't move last time I did this. Try that again. Okay. So we're now acting. Yes, I can see it's actually it just says on the bottom left hand right hand side here it's tracking this drone. So let's have a look at that one now. Yeah, you can see it doing. It's going through the cycle in this one. It's a bit tricky, but it's actually quite neat. So it is actually going to this location. I'm not sure why it didn't go to it last time. Anyway, so with it, look, there'll be some more mobs around in a few seconds. Let's get up here. Oh no, there won't be many more mobs around today because it's gone to night time now. As you can see, all the mobs will be slowly disappearing. Uh, right. So I'll just turn off my debugger now. So what I want to do to turn off my debugger, I keep forgetting it's hot. It takes a bit of practice, doesn't it? Debugging drone, follow active widget. I want to turn off this one here, the enable entity tracker. Um, I haven't bound this to a key. Let's, let's do control E for entity. I'm not sure whether that'll be uh, a good one to use. Let's just turn it try it anyway. Control seems to be a good one because it's not used by everything. Normally press E to do that, but control E doesn't do that. It works that way. Okay, great, fantastic. Okay. I'm just having a think what there's a lot in pneumatic craft repressurized. Let's just have a look at this again. See this is the selection filter I've got on here. There's two pages of it. Um page one. We've dealt with a lot of it but not all of it yet. There's a few things we haven't touched. We haven't, I haven't really done anything with the vortex cannon. That's basically to shoot things around. I haven't done anything with the seismic sensor either. Um, let's have a look at the size. So it's basically used to track down oil deposits. Well, I don't need that because we've got oil already coming from uh, the other mods. And this one here, the remote, this is actually for controlling so we can design our own GUI. I'll have to have a look at that between times. The security station we're not going to touch because we're only single player, so it doesn't make any sense to touch that one. There are a few more bits like the vacuum pump, so we can achieve it basically sucks in mobs. I'm not sure how useful that is at the moment. The universal sensor, I probably should do one of these between times, between now and the next episode anyway, which what else have we got here? We've got the amorphism tile, which is basically a label. And an elevator caller. We haven't done any elevators yet. Now that will be fun to do. I should do that. But unfortunately here, in this space, I don't have much in the way of stuff to do. And I haven't done anything with the camouflage applicator. So you can add and remove camouflage from camouflageable blocks. And I guess things like the miniguns are camouflageable block, I'm not sure. And this one's micro missiles, which are um, just weapons basically. We can actually, they're a bit expensive because they've got a printed circuit board. Uh, anything with printed circuit boards are um, hard work to make basically. All that plastic involved. And then we've got a heat frame here. I haven't used this one either. So it can be placed on any inventory. When heated by an adjacent heat source, it will try to smelt any item in the inventory as well as freeze it when cooled. So I'm just wondering if I can use this one on... I probably can't use it on the refinery, but maybe we can use it on the pneumatic... I'm not sure whether we can use it on the thermatic, thermopneumatic processor. And this one here is a spawner agitator. Well, I'm not sure I want need to do this one, actually, because we've got... There aren't that many spawners around, and I've been breaking them anyway. And they've got enough mob droppings. The only one that would be useful would be a blaze spawner, uh, I think, for this at the moment. And then we've got crop sports. So I haven't done that either. But I'll have a look at doing that between episodes, I think. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure when the next episode will be, due because children are now on holiday or... They will be soon. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.